Hi everyone. So today we're going to do something fun and a little bit different. We are going to make a water filled shaker card using some products that we have around the house as well as products from MFT's new July 2019 release, including this great um, swimming pool dynamic, which this is the product right here. And we're going to use that to do our little cutout of the swimming pool in our card. And there's also a shaker pouch that comes with the swimming pool. It's sold separately. If you wanted to make a shaker card filled with sequins, you could use that. We're not going to use that today. We're just going to use a plastic bag since we're going to make a water filled shaker card. And then this is the stamp set that I use to decorate the card. This is the Drink Up the Sunshine Birdie Brown set. I just love that little girl floating in an inner tube and we're gonna color her with some Copic markers and then place her on top of our card along with the sentiment that says, have a sunshiny birthday. So let's get right into it and let's start making the card. The first thing we're gonna do is take our card panel and cut out our pool from the card panel. And I'm using a die that cut I think it was like four inches by five and a quarter. So just a little bit shy of an A2 size card. And then I'm gonna take Distress Oxide ink in two colors in Squeeze Lemonade and Spice Marmalade. And we're just going to put some little paint spatters on the top of our card panel here. It's just to give it a little bit of decoration, um, but I also didn't want a focal panel that kind of overpowered the pool that we're going to put in the middle because that's really going to be the showpiece of this card. But I wanted a little interest, hence the speckles. All right, so let's make our pool. So I have this little Ziploc baggie at home and I'm going to fill it with maybe about one to two tablespoons of water. And then I'm going to take my sail blue alcohol ink and put a few drops into the baggie and mush that around. And then I'm gonna add some olive oil, just a few drops. And the reason for this is so we can make some bubbles in our shaker. And then I'm gonna take this thick glitter from Lawn Fawn, and I'm gonna add a little baby spoonful <laughs> right into the bag. And then I'm gonna seal everything up and mix it around. And now we have our lovely pool water. And I just let some of the excess air out of the bag. That's why I opened it a second time. Now we are going to tape um, part of our bag over towards the middle. And the reason we're doing this is just so that it fits nicely on the card. The plastic bag that I had was larger than the card panel. So I needed to make it a little shorter. And now I'm going to add tape to all three sides of our shaker pouch. And I'm going to attach that to the front of our card panel. Now my bag wasn't big enough to reach to the bottom, but that's okay because we're going to cover it with the fishtail banner that is included in MFT's um, release this month. If you purchase more than $60 worth of items, you'll get that for free. And now I'm going to take some double sided foam tape and place that all over the back of my panel around my little plastic baggie filled with water and, and other good stuff. Then I'm going to peel the tape off and we're going to attach this panel to a back set panel that I cut exactly the same size. So it's again, four inches by five and a quarter. And I used, I think an MFT rectangle die to do that stitch rectangle die. All right, so now we're gonna add our banner and I already stamped the sentiment, have a sunshiny birthday. And we're just gonna attach that to the bottom of the card. And now we're gonna put our little focal image and this is the little girl from the Drink Up the Sunshine stamp set. I put double-sided foam tape or two, uh, two layers of foam tape behind her just to make sure she's stuck up um, against the, the card panel. And then I'm gonna decorate our panel with some leaves and the little sunglasses that were included in that Drink Up the Sunshine stamp set. And then I'm just gonna put everything onto a card panel and that's it. So that is our adorable little water-filled shaker card, perfect for a little girl's summer birthday, I think. I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. I hope you give this card a try. It's a lot of fun and you probably have everything that you need in your house to make a really special card for a special little girl in your life. Have a great weekend and I will see you again in the next video.